President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi attended the celebration uh, marking the 72nd anniversary of the police day at the police academy. To shed more light on uh, this very important event and the celebrations of the police day, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by General Samir Farag, our uh, strategic expert. Siyadat al Samir Farag, Masa al khir Fandim. Good evening. كل سنة وحضرتك طيب سيادة اللواء إيه أهم النقاط اللي طرحها سيادة الرئيس في كلماته أمام الحضور في الاحتفالية الزائدة في هذه المناسبة؟ هو طبعا أهم حاجة كانت الفترة اللي فاتت لأول مرة التعاون بين الشرطة والمسلحة في تحقيق الأمن طبعا إحنا الفترة اللي فاتت عرفنا هجمته هجمة شرسة ضد مصر بالكامل ونتكلم على سينا Especially in Sinai, Sinai presented the gate of terrorism in Egypt over the past period. That's why there was a great cooperation between the police and the armed forces to secure Sinai against terrorism. The smallest thing that we have witnessed was the martyrs from policemen. The president in every occasion honored the families of the martyrs. If it wasn't for those martyrs who sacrificed their lives, Egypt wouldn't have enjoyed its future and its present now. Thanks to them, we were able to build a stable and secure Egypt. That's why. His Excellency the President always focuses on the cooperation between police and armed forces in achieving the national Egyptian security. This was shown in the past period when the Islamists and the extremists tried to expose the security of the country to the danger. This witnessed a great cooperation between police and armed forces to secure the borders of Egypt, especially in Sinai, that witnessed a real threat over the past period. The importance of celebrating the 72nd anniversary of police and the message of the president regarding the United Arab peoples of the unity of the Egyptians facing the different challenges in the state. The importance of this celebration is to remind the Egyptian people with the role of the police, especially in what happened in January 25th in 1952 and how they faced the British occupation at that time with the people Policemen in 1956 in which is honoring all the policemen who gave and provided the life to this country. At the same time, the president gives a message that if you have lost your father, Egypt will be the care provider to you. That's why they have provided. بالتأكيد يا فندم أيضا الرئيس تطرق للمخاطر اللي مصر بتواجهها من الحدود الشرقية والغربية والجنوبية أهمية وعي الشعب بالمخاطر اللي الدولة بتواجهها على الحدود الغربية والشرقية والجنوبية خلال الفترة دي وأيضا الخطورة اللي بتواجهها بسبب الأحداث الموجودة في البحر الأحمر و 
الهجمات اللي بتجي على خطوط الفوسي اتاكس شوف يا فندم لما يحدث ان كانت مصر في تاريخ In the history of Egypt, hundreds of years ago, Egypt had never witnessed such dangers. The four strategic borders of Egypt are exposed to danger. Uh, you know, in Sinai, we ended terrorism, but we still face the problems in Gaza Strip and on the eastern borders. The situation in Libya is not stable, which threatens the Egyptian national security. In the south, Sudan is entering a very dark tunnel. We do not know its future. Libya and Sudan are both direct national security for Egypt. Talking about the sources of the Nile, we still face a danger of water security from Ethiopia. And after Somalia Ethiopia, there is Somalia, or the new Somal Somalia that Ethiopia is trying to enter. Then we're talking about the threats of security in Red Sea and Babel Mandeb. The whole world is suffering from this problem, not only Egypt, also Suez Canal. That generates $10 billion per year, also faces many losses because over the past period, the Red Sea became a battlefield between the European uh, forces and U.S. forces in order to secure the international trade line against Houthis. So today, for the first time, Egypt is surprised with all these threats and dangers all at once. But thanks to God, the people are still united, the state is united in facing all these threats. What can be the role of the citizen? What are the reasons for which the person tried to explain the whole situation and make the what is the role of the Egyptian citizen to support the country? The role of the Egyptian citizen is not listening to the enemy entities because Egypt is facing a fierce war from the fourth and fifth generations, brotherhood, uh, committees are spreading rumors, poisonous rumors in the Egyptian society. They keep talking about the problem, the prices, the Egyptian citizens should not listen to those people who want to make Egypt fall. The fourth and fifth generations are not made by tanks and weapons. No, it's about playing with the heads and manipulating the brains of the Egyptian people to incite them against the president and the army and the government so Egypt would fall. So do not listen to those people. There are legitimate channels. You can listen to them to know the, the updates and developments and the problems, but you should believe in your country, in your government, in your army, and your president. And not to listen to any foreign entities. Of course, Major General Samir Farag is a strategic analyst, strategic expert. Our dear viewers, the President, President Abdel Fattah Sisi, attended earlier today a celebration marking the 72nd anniversary of the Police Day at the Police Academy, addressing the event.